Hi, my name is Andra Ivanov. I live in Bucharest, Romania, and I am involved with this amazing work since 2006. Some time ago, I used to believe that instinct is the way people and animals react or behave in danger during survival circumstances. However, it is a natural inward uh, impulse, unconscious, involuntary, and for sure does not uh, suppose the mental process of uh, thinking. But I don't want to talk theoretically about instinct, because my intention is to share with you what I discovered about my instinct related to practicing reconnected feeling and personal reconnection. For that, you need to know that most of my life I was involved only in very objective kind of successful activities where everything was measurable, concrete, rateable and very clearly proved. So I could recall only survival instinctively reactions related to an earthquake or an accident. For me, the instinct was a survival inner guide, but I didn't really bother to notice or observe it. Approximately 15 years ago, when the last stage of my formal activity ended, I gave up and accepted a friend's invitation to attend a spirituality course, asking myself in the same time, why did I accept this? Well, and uh, here I am, in the middle of the first day of that course, I was still sitting in my chair, uh, wishing to demonstrate all people there that they are simply crazy to believe that there is something more, something beyond the physical world. I was still sitting there thinking that I will not come back next day, that it was a waste of money and other stories like this. However, in the end of that uh, first day of the course, the woman who taught the course asked us to close our eyes and started to guide us through an imaginary journey. I didn't know at those times that it was a meditation. And I followed her only because I was so surprised about that. When we all opened the eyes, she asked who wants to share this experience. And she didn't finish the last word of her question when I raised my hand up, high up, and I was the only one who did it. I started to share everybody that I saw myself dressed with a strange, unknown, silver, long cloth. Uh, with hands positioned like this, but apart. People were coming towards me in a line. They split into two rows. They came closer, touched my hands, and continued to walk behind me. While I was telling this loud in front of all those unknown people, I gradually began to realize what I was talking about. And gradually my mind came back and regained territory. So after that, I was not able to face anybody there. Um, I thought that I make a fool of myself there telling that story. And uh, I was so ashamed that I didn't want to come back next day. But this was the first instinct support. I consciously later realized that guided me to my path, to my growth and this was not for survival. Well, of course, after this uh, event, I started to search this uh, unseen world, this world I could not consider before that is real or possible. So here is the next uh, stage of my uh, journey. Few years of intense study of uh, different um, spiritual trends, philosophical proposals, healing methods and so on. But my attendances to all those uh, courses, seminars, workshops, whatever they were, 
uh, where the um, uh, results of the decisions I have taken about. You know what a decision is. It is a thinking process um, of um, comparing information in order to conclude about something. In my case, about the respective courses, um, what is it about there, about uh, the teacher, is he or she known or not, is the method recognized, and so on. So this was the documentary stage of my journey, I might say. Uh, and I'm grateful to it. I'm grateful to all those uh, teachers and um, uh, notable people of uh, the seminars I attended because they are part of my lessons in life. And now it is October 2006 when I read Eric's book, The Reconnection, Heal Others, Heal Yourself. After the first 30 pages uh, I have read, I knew, I knew, I simply knew that I want to be a part of that, whatever that might be. I finished the book in the next few hours of uh, reading and the first thing I have done was to go to the publishing house to buy a dozen of books. I offered those books to the first 12 people I met, uh, telling them that I believe that reconnective healing is the next stage of healing domain. Until uh, the end of uh, the same day, I had all the information about the first courses offered by the reconnection in the world. And next day, I registered for uh, November Miami, Florida reconnection programs. And I can see now that all those quick actions raised, ignited by my instinct. And this was the beginning of a new stage of my life progress that continues since then. Well, I did not uh, attend the courses in um, Florida as my uh, US visa request has been refused. Uh, when during the interview I um, said that I go to Miami to attend the healing course. I was so disappointed, very disappointed, as I had everything booked and paid. But uh, when I gave up being upset, when I gave up feeling uh, victim, uh, uh, my instinct raised again and uh, I emailed to the reconnection asking them to come and offer their courses in uh, Romania. Um, and I received a sort of automatic reply saying that if uh, I want to be co-sponsor of these programs for Romania, I need to do to accomplish a long list of things I have never done before in my life. What did I do in the same moment? I clicked reply and typed one word, yes. Did I know something about all those things uh, I was supposed to do as a co-sponsor? No. Did I know something about how to make known such a course? No. However, my answer was yes. And what followed represented what my instinct guided me to manifest. What uh, I can see now is that uh, the instinct as a part of my inner self continuously supports me on my way. It is always there. Only that sometimes my openness to listen to it, it's at different levels, not always uh, so high as I would like to. Well, when I look back at the almost 14 years of my life interaction with the Reconnective Healing Frequencies, I can clearly see now new aspects I didn't realize before. One of them is this. When my mind suppressed my um, instinct, which meant, for instance, the different uh, thoughts of self-judgment, evaluation, fears, or ego roles, the pace of my involvement was slower. On the contrary, when I asked for things or roles in the teaching team without evaluating, without thinking, and just expressing my inner 
uncensored requests. The pace was quicker because after that, my actions were aligned with my inner desire. And thus I realized that instinct is a fundamental, is a basic part of us, always ready to support, to guide and to assist us. Uh, and instinct is not only that, you know, survival automatic um, way of um, action as I thought before. Another thing I discovered for myself is that when I uh, interact with something that moves me, touches me and inspires me completely, my mind simply stops and then my instinct unobstructed shows up and instantly supports me to act with the best possibilities for my life. Well, please consider that what I shared with you, it is also an invitation for you to search and find out what is the instinct for you. It is also an invitation to ask yourselves when instinct manifested in your life. Thank you.